obviously a tough loss for us. Um, you know, let me let me certainly give credit. Oklahoma made some some great plays in the football game, but um, I'll be really honest with you. I'd rather talk about our kids and I, the courage, the toughness. This team is. Um, I said this before. I'm going to say it again. It's one of the, one of my most favorite teams I've ever coached. I, I love their resolve. Um, we're not perfect. I certainly wish we were. I, I see us continuing to grow in so many ways. Um, and I thought our character showed tonight in a lot of ways. You know, obviously we were a point short, but uh, boy, I, I couldn't be prouder of what our team stands for. And I really look forward to watching us get back to work and, and seeing us. We got another great challenge come next week. So that's uh, that's my thoughts. So any comments or questions? Matt, on the, the two point conversion, at yeah. what point do you have in your mind that you're going to do that? Yeah. When I see Brock Purdy just keep making unbelievable plays, I'd rather put the game in his hands. I trust him. I believe in him. Um, he's unbelievable. Coach, it sounded like an emotional locker room. What was your What was your message to the guys? Well, just keep believing. Um, you know, they're a, they're a group of kids that you know you're a couple points away from you know maybe some different results. But you know, everybody says, "Man, the ball's got to bounce your way," but that's not really true. Um, really, in football, you got to make the ball bounce your way. And, you know, we started to do that at times in the second half of the football game, which I was really proud of. You know, not many teams down 21 at half are going to make the ball bounce their way. And we did. You know, we just got to learn from some of the precision and detail things that have snuck up on us in a couple moments. And, you know, unfortunately at Iowa State, you got to play four quarters um, with great detail because we're just not that team that's going to be able to play three quarters or two and a half quarters and win football games. Our, our, our key to success is four quarters that way. And obviously we didn't do that tonight and, and it caught us again. What yeah. changed in the fourth quarter when you started kind of picking up that momentum there? Hey, I, don't, I don't think much. I think it was a whole second half. I thought we just settled in and our kids started playing. Um, you know, I, I we were we dropped three interceptions in the first half of the game. Um, you know, did some good things offensively. You know, had a couple three and outs early. Didn't help our defense and then uh, we started playing like a team, played in a great rhythm in the second half, you know, punted the ball really well in the second half and, you know, played like like what we're capable of playing. I thought that was probably the biggest thing. Matt, does a lot of that pride come from the fact that they did miss the three interceptions and yet kept coming back and coming back to get to the point at the end? Yeah, because I think that's who we are. You know, um, you know, our kids always believe, they always have, and they just keep playing. And, you know, um, again, the, the world wants process, you want results. You know, I believe in process, and I believe what I see with my eyes and what I watch and witness from our kids, and our kids keep coming. And you know what? That's all I can ask for. And we, as coaches, got to keep doing a better job of finding the way to be more precise and add precision to this fight and toughness that these kids have shown all year for us. What do you think of the running backs tonight? It seemed like they were able to kind of help settle down the offense and really kind of get you guys some rhythm. Yeah. You know what? Um, I thought Johnny Lang came in, did some great things. Brees was exceptional. Um, you know, and again, that doesn't happen without the offensive line. You know, I, I thought again a really physical group tonight, and I thought they did some really good things in the tight ends as well. So, um, you know, credit to those guys. I thought they played a really good football game. What does Iowa State's fourth quarter mean <clears throat> for y'all going forward now? Yeah, you know, some of those things are stats. I, I just think the biggest thing for us, Randy, is. You know, again, what are you going to do? How are you going to how are you going to be defined? What's your legacy? Are you going to reach your full potential? Um, you know, and, and that's not that's not a one game deal. That's not a, a nine game deal. There's still a lot of football left to be played. And to me, it's how you finish everything you do. You know, I think it's defining of what you're about and who you are. And um, you know, it's going to be fascinating to watch this team continue to grow. I, I think what's so unique about this team is we're so young in so many areas still. That that youth continues to get better, and I thought, man, that youth was really big for us in some special moments tonight. Were you hoping for a flag on that last play? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. With the the kind of a two part question, when you guys get to the Oklahoma three and then you don't score, what did you see on those couple of plays? But also on the flip side, you guys still were able to bounce back after that. Maybe could have been a deflating moment. Yeah, I think that was. Isn't that indicative of us? I mean, you know, I think at that point. Again, you, you you bag it, you know, and um, man, we just kept playing. Our defense did a great job getting the ball back. You know, we were able to score really fast again, um, and then 
kind of get to put ourselves in position to win the football game. And so, you know, I, it wasn't perfect down there. You know, I wish it was, um, but it wasn't. And so, you know, I think we had opportunity. It was probably more, I think we'll reflect on it. Could we have put our guys in a better position? You know, should we have done something different? Uh, that's right where my thought goes because, you know, to me, my number one responsibility is how do we put our guys in the best position to be successful? But, um, you know, whether it was plays or whether it was player, you know, we, we were able to persevere, and that was huge. You mentioned 